بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. One day I was sitting in the class and basically we were given some assignments and in the assignments everybody sat and we're waiting and we were waiting to hear about what we were going to have what we were going to be facing what we were going to have to research so then I start hearing somebody got as an assignment the love of Allah I was like wow that's a nice subject somebody else got the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam I said that's a nice subject and then as I'm waiting for my turn they give me the subject of love then I said to myself love love without Allah love without the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam I felt sad because I felt like love without those things is empty but then I said think about it this might be a sign then I remember that in surah al hadith verse 9 Allah says that he sent down signs for mankind to bring them out of the darkness into the light because Allah is most merciful and is most gentle most gentle most merciful then I said to myself then this might be a good thing love I could take this and then talk about all type of love because what is a human being without love then I start to remember that Allah said that basically in the hadith Qudsi reported in Al Bukhari Allah says that my slave continues to get closer to me by acting by performing extracurricular prayers until I love him so then I remember that one thing that is very important is to have the love of God to have the love of Allah then Allah says in surah al imran to his prophet Muhammad he said say tell them that if they love me if they love Allah to follow you to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then Allah would love you so therefore to have the love of Allah we should of course follow the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then the best way to follow someone is to love them when you love them and admire them that's when you are more likely to be like them to do like them to follow them so therefore love is something that is very important without love we cannot do anything we cannot achieve faith because Allah says that basically if you love your father if you love your sons your brothers your wife your tribes if you love your wealth that you acquired basically if you love your business then you fear that you're going to lose that business and if you love your houses more than you love Allah then beware beware of Allah's judgment upon you because Allah does not guide the people who are deviators deviators is a big word this is Allah telling us that if we do not love him and his messenger as we should we are being labeled deviators we might scratch deviation so we have to be careful as to how to measure the love we have now when we talk about love we have to remember maybe the source where is love located where is the source of love we might have a general consensus that is in the heart so therefore we need to be careful and watch our heart because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that there is a flesh when if it's sound, if that flesh is sound, the whole body is sound. But if that flesh is corrupted, the whole body becomes corrupted. So therefore, we need to be careful and understand what we let our hearts being exposed to, because that's where the source and maybe the location where love resides. So we have to be careful upon that and remember at all times to do whatever it takes to achieve the love of God, because when God loves us, obviously, we are in good hands. So. This is unbelievable because love actually goes beyond just the love of God. Of course, love in general is a term. They said that when you talk of love, the elements in the air change. They said that love brings this positivity, for say. But we, as Muslims, we understand that the only positivity, the only success is in heaven. So if we seek the love of others, we might lose out and miss out on the ultimate love, the love of Allah. So no one can talk of love without expressing the importance of the love of Allah and his messenger 
in order to achieve success. The Prophet وسلم, said in Abu Dawood, in the Surah, in the, in the, in the in the hadith of Abu Dawood, the Prophet وسلم, said that basically a man was with her Prophet وسلم, and he seen a guy walking by. And he said to the Prophet وسلم, I, may, I love that man over there. And the Prophet said, did you tell him that you love him? And the man said, no, I didn't. So the Prophet said, go ahead and tell him that you love him. So when the man went to the guy and told him, I love you for the sake of Allah, the guy turned back to him and said, well, may Allah the one from whose hand, I mean, the one from whose sake you love me, may he love you back. So therefore, the Prophet ﷺ is telling us that if you love someone, you must go and tell him that. So just to love someone is not just an idea, it's something that you could keep in the heart, but it's something that you need to make manifest, even by telling the person. And how do we manifest the love of Allah and his messenger? We manifest it by being strong in our faith by practicing, by praying, by doing every extra act of worship that we need to do to get closer and closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet also tells in another hadith, he tells that on that day where there is no shade, on the judgment day there's going to be seven people. Among the seven people are the men and the, you know, the two brothers who love each other for the sake of Allah. And on that day Allah will say, where are those? Where are those who love each other for the sake of my majesty? For this day when there is no shade, I shall shade them. This is the promise of those brothers, those two who love each other for the sake of Allah. So this is something that's important and the Prophet ﷺ is encouraging us to love each other, to love each other and to be one. Because in Islam obviously we need to be one and hang on to that rope of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ also said, and another one, he says that, None of you is a believer. None of you is a believer until he loves, until he loves for his, you know, what he, for his brother what he loves for himself. None of you is a believer until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. So therefore, you have to not only love, you know, your brothers, but then want good for them as well. You want good for them and you wish them good. Now, some might wonder about love. What about those people who do not love me? Or people who feel like they're not loved by others? Well, there is one very easy way. In the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, he tells us that if Allah loves a slave, if Allah loves a servant, he calls Jibreel and tells Jibreel, I love such and such. So then Jibreel comes in and goes to the other inhabitants of heaven and tells them that, yo, Allah loves such and such. So then the angels go back to earth and tell the inhabitants of earth that Allah loves such and such, so then they end up loving him. So therefore, to have Allah's love end up manifesting in Allah loving you, sending the love to the angels, and the angels sending the love down to the people. So their people end up loving you back. So this is a beautiful thing. And Ibn Qayyim, when we was asked about love, he said that basically the love is like a bird. A bird which is head is love. This is our religion described by Ibn Qayyim of Jazir. He said that basically love represents the head and the wings represent fear and hope. If you cut off the head, the bird dies. And there is no religion, there is nothing. But if you cut off one of the wings, the wings of hope or the wings of fear, then the bird cannot fly and becomes a, like a, a, a prey, an easy prey to the predator. Then it ends up dying. So our religion is based on love. The head of our religion is love. So we need to be careful in what we love. They said that love gives you wings. Well, let's make sure that we love Allah so then we can fly towards Him. May Allah give us the ability to love Him because even the Prophet wasalam, used to pray. The Prophet who is guaranteed heaven used to pray to have his heart towards Allah. The Prophet would pray to have his heart fixed on the religion of Allah Azawajal. He would pray that some that goes into Ya Mukka Libal Kulu. Oh my Lord. I'm still learning Arabic. But he goes at something as in um, the, 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 the bit. 
كلام يا مقلب القلوب يا مقلب القلوب تبيت كل كل أنا دينك so basically oh Allah the turner of hearts the one who direct hearts towards anything that he wishes please keep my heart firm on the deen on your deen so I'm thanking you guys and I'm hoping that Allah give us the love and increase the love that we have for his prophet and for his religion and for his himself mm -hmm. assalamu alaikum